Okay, so I haven't jumped on the electric car bandwagon yet. I'm really not there. Uh, unfortunately, I have too many issues with cars and range. But anyway, there are many electrical motors that I want to replace my gas engines with. And one of them is a pressure washer. Now I saved $70 on this thing because the box is damaged. That's right, buy a bat buy a damaged box and save $70. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of what I need. Uh, it is, you know, 2400, 1.1 GPM. It's a little bit less than what I currently have with the gas engine, which I will show and compare in this video. But the main thing is, even though it says Craftsman, when I really looked at all the motors and pumps, because really that's all a pressure washer is, motor and pump, the rest is just fluff, I went to Home Depot and looked at the Ryobis and it was ridiculous. It was $100, $200 between different sizes as you went larger and larger and larger in the residential range, not the professional range. And it was just, it was just ridiculous. You weren't really getting all that much. You know, you're getting a few more pounds of pressure or when it jumped from 1.1 to over 2 gallons per minute, that's when it really kicked up in price. Like if you want a 2700 2.3 gallon per minute pressure washer in electric, here's my gas pressure washer which I am replacing. You are easily at the $500 mark which is the low end of the commercial brands and I think that's the low end of the commercial brands that are gasoline engines I really haven't looked at commercial brands with electric engines uh, but anyway uh, check it out for yourself look at the motor and look at the pump and a lot of these have the same motor and pump so we're looking at a 13 amp motor and we're looking at an axial cam pump so it has to be the pump that's different because if you look at these motors it's like the vast majority from the smallest one to the largest one is like a 13 amp motor I mean and what else is there <laughs> you know, it, it, it just it just doesn't make sense to me so you know, I'm not the I'm a mechanical engineer, I'm not electrical engineer, so I don't know, maybe there's more windings in the motor or something silly like that. But if you look at the motor and you look at the pump and you look at the price, you'll know exactly what I mean. Now I have had a gasoline engine pressure washer since the dawn of time. So that's all I've known. Uh, I've replaced the pump a few times. Uh and only the bottom of the pump. I really don't know how else to describe it. The engines last forever and technically you're only supposed to run it when you're using it. So you're constantly shutting it off, turning it on, shutting it off, turning it on. There is no idle when this starts up. It's a single speed. That's how like 99.9% .9 of them are as far as I know and if you just let it idle there and you deadhead the pump uh, it'll go bad quicker however really what I found to be the worst thing which doesn't matter whether it's gasoline or electric is I find that the screens become clogged even though I have filters on my water system those screens to go still get clogged up from something from somewhere I don't know what so you need to watch out for that. Change your screens off and keep plenty of uh, hose washers and screens in stock. Change them out. It will save you from buying a $70 to $120 pump and sticking it on the bottom of that. I actually have a video where I did it on this machine. Alright, a little trick I learned a while ago was to open up the bottom. 
it's not much of an effort there. And then flip it over. Let's see here. Sloppiness here, and then take the box off. Um, now this was a busted up box, but as you can see, makes life a whole lot easier to unpack. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Some of it has things in it. Some of them don't. Get all that straightened out. Okay, we got some paperwork. Has some parts in there. I see a nozzle. And let's figure out what this stuff is. Also, I was a little leery of getting a craftsman. Oh, it's a sealed bag. I have to open it. Uh, I was a little leery of getting a craftsman because craftsman is ain't what it used to be. But anyway, like I said, I looked at the motor and the pump. And all the rest of the stuff is fluff. Alright, okay, here's a bunch of words and stuff that came with it. Looks like all kinds of stuff. Oh, I can't read that. It's in French. 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 It's in French. Espanol. Parlez-vous Francais? So we have French and Spanish and English. All right. So, but as a guy, you know, you're not allowed to read these things. So let's put it together. All right. Let's see, plastic bag. I see. Came with electrical stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh boy, that's pretty good. Boy, that's a great length of cord. I am surprised by that. I was expecting a little pigtail. Oh, look, it's got all kinds of stuff I need to cut off of here. All right, we'll take this tag off. I don't know what it is, but it's in the way. Looks like click, click. I've seen that before, so. Oh, there's the holes it goes in, so. Looks like it might go in there like that. Let's, let's stick it in there. All right, that worked. My goodness, those wheels are cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. But that's okay, I don't care. Um, also, the cord is interesting, which I've already talked about. Um, don't forget, for a pressure washer, it's not bad because you're hooking up two hoses to it anyway. You're hooking up a hose to go in and a hose f for water to come out. So. You know, it's not like you're going to be restricted by the power cord. All right, let's see what this is. See if I can stay on camera here. Looks like we put in it's either a hose clip or a power wire clip. Something hangs on there. So, looks like that'll hang on there for now. Okay, well, it came with a turbo nozzle. I've been meaning to buy one of these for years, but now I have one. That goes right there. It was in the bag separately. All these are your standard sizes. I don't see a red jet, but I have plenty of those. <laughs> As you can see, I've accumulated all kinds of things over the years. I think when I bought different accessories for the gas-powered pressure washer like new hoses uh, wands I mean new wands and hoses and different lengths and whatnot you know it came with with these guys so I have uh, plenty also here's the gun I have smaller guns I actually like smaller guns these long ones are really great for cars in my opinion but anyway 
I'll probably use it on the initial uh, startup and see how it works. Well, I can tell you what I like right out the gate. There's no safety, no switch, no clip, no nothing to get in your way. Just fire it up. Pow! Excellent. All right, well, the end and now the hose are both extremely easy to put on. Of course, it's a lot of newness also, you know. It's not all gunked up. <laughs> I've had to clean these things over the years. You know, it just it just wouldn't go together. Let's see here if I can do this on camera. I think I hit the tripod. But you have to shove it in there because of the O-ring. And then snugglicious. And then it looks like it goes in right here. All right, I actually like that. I've struggled over the years where to put the gun, but that fits in there nicely. All right. All right, looks like my soap hose has become damaged. It's like kinked and bent down, so what I'm going to do is pull that off, cut it off, and stick it back on there, and I'll have soap. Of course, I typically... Oh, wow, that's nice. I typically don't even use the soap. Oh, I didn't even show that. So, repeating myself, typically I don't even use the soap, but it comes out easily. That's great to clean it. Can replace the line. Oh, I actually like that. Very good. Very good. All right, a real big on-off switch. I like that. I like the way it functions. Get my hand out of the way. All right, definitely like that. All right, here's the belly of the beast. So it looks like the high pressure hose is going to screw on here and the garden hose is gonna screw on here. I will cut and give you a side view because the front view kind of hides the motor. Use the soap. I like those dispensers. You know, these guys here, I really like them better. Okay, made my repair and I will flip it on its side to let you see the motor and the pump. All right, well, this machine absolutely hated being laid on its side. I mean, it was not good at all. So you can see how large the motor is. Uh, my span is 8 inches, so it's at least 8 inches minimum, and then it goes into the pump right here. So here is all the pressurizing part of the pump. This is probably the cam spinning around from the motor where it transfers the energy from the electric motor into the pump. So that's how that works. Pretty small compact unit. And the only other thing now is to show it working. Okay, they give you a nozzle cleaner if it becomes jammed, but I've never had a problem with any nozzle ever in the hundreds of years I've used a pressure washer. Uh, it is nice, they say, uh, car. I've typically always used the 40 on a car. They say house 25, brick 15, you know, turbo, um, and then soap. You need to use the big, big opening there for soap and low pressure. Well, the pressure's there, but the flow rate is, is a lot less because it's not uh, cut down to a stream. So that's what that is, but... Anyway, that'll probably get put in the toolbox and never used. All right, let's start off with the gasoline pressure washer. All right, first we need water. Next, we need the high pressure line. Next, we need to check the oil. 
Next we need to check the fuel level. Next we need to disconnect the kill switch. Then we need to pull to start. And I'm going to move the camera back a little bit. Even though the exhaust is on the other side, it's still going to make a lot of noise when I fire it up. Alright, I checked all the screws for tightness, but the pump is leaking a little bit, so I don't know if it's just the O-ring out of place or it's, if it's on its last legs, it doesn't really matter. Right, now for the electric we have the hose hooked up we have the water hooked up we have the current hooked up and a quick side note there is a lock on here so earlier I said there wasn't because I was so happy that you could just pull the trigger without having to mess with that lock all right I'm going to turn the motor on and then I'll turn the water on All right, that's cool. That's cool. Automatic shut off when you're not using it. All right, here we go with the automatic power on and off. All right, that is awesome. Too bad the gasoline engine doesn't have that feature. Now I did notice that the water pressure and the rate of flow is a little less Alright, so in conclusion, my overall impression is it's okay. If you have any kind of heavy duty pressure washing to do, besides getting the mud off your car, I mean, I don't see it doing houses or going up too much past a second story window, I'd say barely, uh, then it's okay. Otherwise, it's a lot less. Now don't forget you can buy more powerful ones if you're willing to pay the $450 to $700 to really crank it out. So uh, I don't know how they bump it up like that. It's got to be the pump. It just has to be. Okay, I'm going to edit this scene in so it's not going to fit, but I recommend the 25 degree for cars, not the 40. That's a, I'm just so used to the gasoline engine pumping out more, you know, twice as many gallons per minute. The pressure isn't all that important, the volume is. So, but if you put that 25 on there, you're going to you're going to be very happy with uh really hosing off the car, especially if you have a lot of mud and dirt on there. 